Uh, this will be explaining lab five on centripetal acceleration, which we normally do in the classroom. And this is the handout that goes with it. And this is related to chapter five in centripetal acceleration, V squared over R. If something is moving at a constant speed in a circle, it undergoes centripetal acceleration based on how fast it's moving. And in this case, we're going to be measuring it with a photo gate timer and how far out it is in radius from the center. And what we're going to be using is this ruler to measure speed. And we're going to com compare that to an accelerometer, which actually measures acceleration. So this will actually measure acceleration. This photo gate will measure speed, and then based on how far out we have the accelerometer, uh, we can compare the two and see if they work out right. I'll explain the lab as far as that is concerned. So what we're gonna have here is the ruler will be out 26 centimeters from the center out to where the photo gate is. So there's a little photo gate light, and when this thing crosses through, it turns it, turns it off, and it measures the speed as it passes through. We then will have an accelerometer, which is at distances of, in this case, 20 centimeters, then moving in at 15 centimeters, and finally 10 centimeters. And we're gonna compare this measured centripetal acceleration from this device to the calculated one from B squared over R, where R will be uh, this distance here, but we're gonna have to calibrate or the, this speed based on the fact that we're, this photo gate timer is always out here. So how are we gonna do that? So what I'm gonna do as an example is we will time this, so I have this going and you'll be able to see screenshots on Lab 5 website. And as this passes, we'll be doing this first at two, meter, two meters per second speed and measure the acceleration over a period of time. And then I'm gonna do it at much twice as fast, four meters per second squared, which you can't see specifically here and then we're going to do that so in this case it'd be for this would be for 20 centimeters from this point out to here then we'll move it down to 15 centimeters okay and just do it approximately so that's 15 centimeters from this point to here repeat the experiment for two centimeter, two meters per second, and four meters per second. Then we'll move this to inwards so that it's only 10 centimeters from this point to the center of this thing. We'll do two, two meters per second to start with, take data, and then do it at four meters per second and compare the two. So we'll have six different measurements for R equals 0.2 at speeds of two and four meters per second. R is 0.15 at speeds of two and four meters per second and R is 0.1 at speeds of two and four meters per second. So the next step I'll do is I will uh, show you how to calculate the data table in the back. So that I just demonstrated how the lab actually works as far as taking data um, using the centripetal apparatus we had. I'm gonna go through the data table for here. Um, and then part of it is, again, we're using uh, centripetal acceleration is V squared over R, where in this case we had the photo gate go through, 
and this thing swings around. Let me do it from the top actually so you can get a better idea of it. Yep. So this thing will swing around. So as it passes through the photo gate on the left here, then it measures the speed, V. R is the distance away from it, approximately, and then centripetal acceleration is V squared over R. But because of the fact that we are measuring the speed from one point and using the accelerometer, which is inside, uh, we're going to be uh, having to make a calculation to take this into account because we're going to be comparing the actual acceleration, the accelerometer. So I'm going to go to the data table. Here's the data table here as far as how to calculate each part. So the ruler R, so that from the center out to where the photo gate table is, is 0.26. Then to calculate V, right? That's going to be given by the formula, uh, the speed V times R acceleration over 0.26 meters, right? So for the first one, all right, two times 0.2, divided by 0.26 is calculated to be 1.54 meters per second. The next one, we double the speed. R is still the same, because we kept the accelerator there. The speed is four meters per second. So this would be 3.08 meters per second, right? Then the next one, I'm not going to do all the calculations. The next one would be 2, because that's what our speed is, times R, 0.15 over 0.26. So it's 0.15 over 0.26. You calculate that. For the next speed, 4 times 0.15 over 0.26. Calculate that. Then for R is 0.1, we go to, again, our speed is 2 meters per second times 0.1 over 0.26. And then the fourth one, 4.0 times 0.10 over 0.26. So this is kind of a clever way to actually compare the calculation of V squared over R to what we actually measure with the accelerometer. So what you're going to see on the screenshots will be, and I'll clean this off here. So that's a data table you're going to have there. So what you'll see in the screenshot will be an uh, image from the uh, graphical analysis and you'll have a graph and this one I don't need that this will be um, acceleration and this will be some number like that and then the bottom one will be the speed in meters per second and it will look like something like that. If this is zero, and that's zero. So that's what the data, so what you're gonna do is estimate about this. So for the first case, this should be around two meters per second, right around two. This will be the measured acceleration so you're going to try and estimate what this graph is. So if this is somewhere between, say, 10 and 15, you might estimate this to be about 12 to 12.5 or so. 
All right, so you just do the best estimate you can on that. This is going to be two meters. So you're going to be trying to use this data, and then you'll actually um, you put that into the fifth column here. So measured acceleration will be your estimate from this top graph. This fourth column calculated will be based on uh, the V squared V and that case I'll go through this first. So that's the data there. So I want to erase this. Get it okay. So this fourth column will be measured. Acceleration. And that will be one point. And this will be V squared given by V squared over R. So that will be 1.54 squared divided by 0.2, which I'm not quite sure what that would be. Somewhere around five, let's see, two and a half, who knows, somewhere around 10.5 meters per second squared. Anyway. anyway, so that's what you're going to do. So this one would be uh, 3.08 squared divided by 0.2 and so on. All right, so you're going to calculate this, use that in here, use that to calculate this column four, and then compare that to your estimated acceleration from the top graph from the screenshot, which will be on the it's on the main handout link. And then you get a percent difference, and percent difference will be, anytime you have it, will be given by, oh, on the graph measured minus calculated divided by calculated times 100. Okay, and then just answer the questions there. So that's lab five. We're not gonna be doing lab four uh, because this is too complicated as far as that's concerned. So we're skipping lab four and this will be listed as lab five.